Hello everyone and welcome to my new Dory Paint video. I'm really happy that you love the new format of my videos because really to me it also gives kind of feeling that we're hanging here together, making stuff. Because before it felt more like I was doing something and showing you afterwards and telling you like the story when everything was already done. And now I finally have this feeling that we are really having fun together in my studio. So welcome to my studio again and you know if you watch my channel already for a while approximately a year ago maybe a year and a half ago I've made already a couple of uh, Disney princess dolls but they were kind of light versions of makeovers because I just took uh, the Disney princess dolls from Hasbro and I've repainted their faces maybe a little bit made hair better and stuff like this but i didn't really make any dramatic changes like i never made new outfits i never reroute their hair i never made wigs and stuff like this and i feel like i'm not done yet there <laughs> i have still something to say like on this disney princess market and that's why i've decided to come back a little bit to this topic and made a couple of really complete makeovers like they should be of the most famous Disney princess. And I decided to start with Jasmine just because I've never done her before. Even from this Hasbro collection, I've never tried to repaint the Jasmine doll. And here I've prepared already a model for our repaint. And I've decided to take this doll mainly because of her face mold. You see, her eyes are really big. There is a lot of space to draw such a very dramatic gorgeous arabian makeup you know with such a dramatic eyeliner with lashes and everything and i also think that her nose in some way is also jasmine style nose it's not this short nose of draculaura or frankie so i think this doll can make a beautiful jasmine princess just her body is of course a little bit textured a little bit the snake skin or whatever but I will see, I have two options. Maybe I will try to sand this structure off or maybe I will simply take another body. Why not? There are lots of Monster High dolls in my stock there. So let's prepare this doll. You know, here is a little bit such an eclectic outfit this doll has. This skirt for sure doesn't belong to her. Yeah, this is second hand doll, so kids are playing with their dolls and I'm happy about it and check out her boots I think it's really gorgeous boots for Monster High doll are they normal standard pack or is something special ordered on eBay because I've never seen them myself personally really cool boots I think I'm gonna use them for some other transformation and now I'm cutting her hair really very, 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 very short. And the shorter we will cut them, the easier it will be later to pull the rest of the hair from the inside of the head. So now her hair is very short and I can take my hair dryer and make this doll very soft. I will need to blow on this doll for approximately two minutes. It will melt the glue inside and also make this vinyl, this rubber soft. And I will be able to pull the doll's head without problem. So let's go. <laughs> And you can see now that the head has become really soft and I can easily pull it from the body, see? Anyway, you need to hold very strong the neck here because it can crack at any second. Voila, here we are. And now using my old and rusty tweezers, you know them already, <laughs> I'm going to pull the rest of this short hair from the inside of the head. This time it's also quite a dry glue. You see, we're lucky already two weeks in a row because sometimes it's really such a chewing gum disaster. You cannot even wash your hands 
after dealing with this glue but this is already the second time in a row the dry one and now let's take acetone and remove her original makeup I'm going to give this doll dark hair, so first of all I'm painting her hat with black acrylic paint. So now the black paint looks dry to me and now we can give her beautiful long dark hair and I've got here Oh, new package full of hair and I ordered it probably beginning of January or something like this and I never had time to open it so it's an unboxing part in my videos <laughs> this hair I ordered from Retro Dolls web store in the UK it's not sponsored I bought it all completely myself it's one of the shops where I always order doll hair for the roots and I mean like saran doll hair and stuff like this all oh, and here are the treasures so here I have very light iceberg hair yes this is original dark brunette saran this is what I will need today for my jasmine doll and I have also a red hair oh look what a pretty under Maiden Island. Wow, 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 wow. The dreamy gray, little bit with lilac color, very pretty. Here I have flush lilac saran, also, also very pretty. It's like lilac with a little bit with blue and gray, very pretty color. Here I have such a mix hair, dark and, and lighter purple hair just for fun maybe for something uh, frozen saran yeah you see this one is iceberg is completely white and this frozen saran is so more regular gold blonde purple hair and here I have seashell nail oh such a beautiful gold pink also with such a grayish silverish little bit lavender color very pretty and here a little bit of white Think so also for something for dinary star gadget later <laughs> but now let's get back to this dark brunette saran hair and let's reroute this doll hair see it comes in such a long hair sausage <laughs> and I'm going to cut it in two and I think it's gonna be right. So now I'm going to take strand by strand and reroute her head completely, filling in all these tiny holes. This is already the next night and here is her new hair. I don't know why I always end up doing this at 2 o'clock at night. And the only thing that I need to do now, I'm going to add tacky glue, quite enough of it, to cover all the roots inside of the hat. And then I'm going to let it dry for sure till tomorrow evening and then I also have time to think a little bit what to do with her body which body to use the original one or to find some other body now the glue inside of her head looks dry to me I'm checking it of course with q-tips and it's dry so first I need to protect her 
fair. And there is another important question, like I told you already, we need to decide what are we going to do with her body. Because if I'm going to use her original body, I can actually continue working with this skin tone and just adjust it a little bit with pastels, it's all possible. But I really don't like this very hard perforation on her body and as from my experience I will not be able to remove it. So I think I'm going to replace this doll by something else but I don't know exactly which body to take but I have an idea. Look I have here a set so to create a monster you've snow them probably when you need to you have one body two heads two sets of legs, hands and everything, one wig, one outfit, stuff like this. And then you can make your own Monster High doll using these pieces, like uh, assemble it from zero. So I think I'm going to borrow one of these bodies for my doll because actually I have this set already for almost two years and I never needed it because there are always some other dolls. So I think it's the time to open this box finally and to use at least some parts some details of this set and i have actually just one question if this body with this completely different kind of a pack in her neck you see this is how the original one looks and this is how looks the one from this create a monster set so i wonder if this kind of a body with this kind of neck pack can fit any Monster High doll hat or maybe just made especially for the ones in this set. But I really hope that you can combine it with absolutely any Monster High doll hat. But let's test it. <laughs> we can know it literally in a second. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, you can. <laughs> so I'm really happy that this hat uh, fits the body. Just tell me please. Will it take a long time to assemble all these things together? Let's check it out. Normally it shouldn't be that difficult because it's for kids. So let's see how fast I'm going to assemble this doll. Set the timer. Come on, come on, come on. By the way, these two legs, they have a little bit difference in shade. This one is a little bit more yellow. Legs are done. Now the arms. And we are done. Yeah, guys, it's really easy. It took me probably how long? 40 seconds to make this doll. So you can see I've already protected this doll's hair and what I need to do now, I am taking acetone again and I'm removing all the grease, glue, fingerprints <laughs> and other things that is probably left on her face after rerouting and after all other manipulations. And I also want to prepare our brand new just assembled body already now and for this I'm first sanding it nicely with nail buffers to remove all this glossy top from the surface. After this I'm going to clean it with an acetone free nail polish remover. I told you already it's very important to use an acetone free one. And I've also attached here such a rope to be able to hand this doll while it's drying. So now the head and the body are prepared and what I need to do, I need to mix some colors to create their new skin tone.
Now I think I'm happy with the new basic skin color and I think I can seal it now with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then start contour and draw eyes, eyebrows and the rest of the face. So let's spray. And while all these layers of acrylic paint and then the Mr. Super Clear sealant were drying, I have prepared here a bunch of pencils and pastels. And you can see that today I'm going to use mainly very natural and nude colors. So now we can take our doll, her face is already completely prepared, and start sketching her eyes, eyebrows, and do the basic contouring. This is the first layer of repainting. So first of all, I'm going to sketch the eyes, and I'm not really using this mold completely, because you see, these eyes are of course way too big, even for cartoonish Jasmine. But anyway, I'm going to give her, of course, a jacquette eyes with wing eyeliner. The eyebrows should be quite good defined and also pretty arched this time, because this is what we mostly see in Arabian makeup. And then I can draw the irises and I also define the nostrils and I also draw the shadows in the corners of her lips and between the lips. And then I'm taking pastels and start contouring her face. See, I'm using a very natural color that is just a little bit darker than her basic skin tone. Like this, we can create very soft and very natural looking shadows on her face. I'm also contouring the eyelids and the sides of the nose. And now this layer I'm going to protect with Mr. Super Clear sealant and wait about 30-40 minutes. On the second layer I have applied already the second layer of the same pastels and now I'm going to add a little bit more accents with darker pastels, but really not much. And this layer I also protect with Mr. Super Clear sealant. It's time for layer number three and now I'm going to draw more detail the eye to make them more extra dimensional, more realistic look. And you can do it both with pencils and with soft pastels, but of course soft pastels are more transparent, so that's why normally I first create a background using my watercolor pencils, and then I blend it all nicely, like the edges and everything with soft pastels. And what I want to do now, I want to add some blush to her cheeks. And also with the same color, I blend a little bit here, the shadowing around her eyes with her skin tone, with the slightest parts. And then this layer I again protect with Mr. Super Clear sealant and it's gonna be the end of layer 4, I think, if I can count it right. Yeah, I think it was layer 4 now, so let's count it today. And now it's already the next day, level 5, and it's time to take my pencils and start working more detailed on the like inside part of her eyes. First of all, I'm going to make white the squares of her eyes. Sometimes I need to apply 2-3 layers of white to reach a really good coverage, but this time you see it goes really nice on, and I think even one layer will be enough. Then I can draw the irises, and of course this time she's going to have brown eyes. And with a black pencil, I draw the pupils. With a red pencil, I draw the waterline. And then I take a brown pencil and I draw her eyebrows more detailed. And now I'm going to draw her lips using this very natural color nude pencil. This layer I seal again with Mr. Super Clear, and this is the end of the layer 5, I think, if I'm still counting it right, I'm not sure anymore. Okay, now it's the layer number 6, and it's time to apply the shadows and the highlights. First of all, I apply gray shadows to the sides and to the corners of her eyes. Meanwhile, to the irises, I vice versa apply the highlights. Thank you. 
I also can highlight a little bit the space under the eyebrows. And you can see now the difference between these two eyes after applying a little bit of shadows to the white of her eyes and a little bit of highlights to the eyelids and to the irises. And I think, yeah, you can see the difference. And now let's do exactly the same to her lips. Now I'm going to seal this layer with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then we're gonna see what is left from all these highlights that we've applied just now. Because I think we will have to repeat this layer again to refresh everything. And this is layer 7 and you can see as I told you all the highlights has become a little bit less visible. So I'm going to refresh them a little bit. And of course you need to make sure that your black pencil is extremely sharp before you start drawing the eyelashes because they, sh they must be extremely fine. And then I also want to draw the eyeliner. And this layer, of course, protect again with Mr. Super Clear. So now her face is almost ready and on the layer 8 I'm going to apply just the tiniest things that are still missing. Like for example the highlights between the lashes, here on the irises, things like this. After this I will seal it again, of course. And then the face is almost ready. And now I'm going to take white acrylic paint and add highlights to her eyes. This layer I protect again with three layers, three, three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And we can actually count how many layers of sealant and paint and pencils and pastels we've applied today. If I'm not mistaken, this is the layer number nine. It means uh, we still need to do three in the end and they were applied three in the beginning and this is 15 layers in total. So, oh, and by the way, there are on the bottom still three layers or two layers, probably three layers of this nude acrylic paint. This doll I'm going to seal and another thing that we still need to do today is to blush her body. And I really like putting together a blushed face next to an unblushed body. Then you can see the difference. Then you can see actually the result of your work. It's already like before and after. So and now this body needs to look exactly the same like this face. So I'm going to use the same pastels like I've used for this doll's face. So now I'm going to put the head and the body back together and we know already that it goes normally very easily. Yep, connected. <laughs> and the next step is styling her hair to make approximately the same hairstyle like Jasmine has in the original cartoon. And you see I've split her hair in three sections and here I've made such a ponytail. And then I'm taking this from sections, twisting them a little bit like this, and also add it to the ponytail and fix it with such an elastic. And the same I'm doing on the other side. Then I make hair here more loose and then her ponytail I split also in three sections. And then I'm covering up these elastics with a piece of such a shining golden ribbon. And after this I'm applying the false eyelashes and then I also add a layer of glossy acrylic varnish to her eyes and lips. And now guys let's talk about her outfit. When I was a kid everything seemed okay to me. But right now when I looked at it closer already as an adult person analyzing it, thinking how to recreate it for my doll, I found it really disturbing because normally Jasmine is a young Arabian lady, Arabian princess. 
then I don't really think it's very normal that she was running around just in her... No, it's almost a bikini top, in a very, very short and very open top. Yeah, when I started to look farther, I figured out that in Disneyland, Jasmine already wears more appropriate outfit and more correct also, the one that really could belong to an Arabian lady. And that's why I've asked my mom to make a correct version of her outfit. And this is her work in progress video. Let's check it out. And this is what she's made. Here we have these pants, very pretty natural silk skirt on top, decorated with such a golden thread and some crystals. And here is a top also decorated with beads. And here is a jasmine crown. So let's put it all on the doll. The last thing that I still want to do is to paint this original Gigi Grant's Arabian shoes with gold acrylic paint. And then we can take a look at the end result. I really hope guys you like the end result because I'm personally very happy I've decided to come back to making Disney princess dolls. And tell me by the way, who is your favorite princess? Which one should I do next? I'm thinking mostly about making my version of Snow White. What do you think? Because the mermaid, for example, I made a week ago, so Ariel should wait for a while. And who else do you like? This doll, by the way, will be for sale on eBay together with two other dolls that I still have left in stock, so go check it out if you're interested. The link is in the description box. And now I would like always ask you to support this video in my channel with your likes, if you enjoyed this repaint and if you want to see me making more Disney Princess dolls. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell button because this is actually the only way to get notified about my new videos. And if you watched till the end my Dory paint video last week Friday, then you remember of course about our new tradition of making instant pictures of my new dolls because I really want to make like a gallery of them here on my whiteboard. So let's do it now. I think this doll is ready. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video, for being with me today. And we will see each other actually already very soon, next week Friday. Love you guys. Bye.